Hi guys, I'm Lisa. Today, we're going to learn how to use a Lua library called Gatuti. Okay, so, basically, to install a 2D, you have to go to its website. Which is Gatuti.org. So, you have to download the 64-bit installer, or 52-bit installer, or... Well, I've just done the one for the OS you're using. So if you want to run a lot of 2D, you have to write love. So uh, it's probably going to show something where it like this, depending on what version of Love 2D you have installed. I'm just saying, they would have to make a game. So it said they could take off. And then, the name of the folder that, you know, the game stored in. So it shows up split screen now. So each game needs to have a big dot go file. Because that's the only name of 2D recognizes for the main file. We need to have three functions. A fun a function love dot load. A function love dot update. And a function Love dot draw. So, I'm just going to draw a square. So uh, I'm going to say love dot graphics dot rectangle. So I have to write whether it's a filled rectangle or a line rectangle. So I'm just going to say fill. And then the x. So I'm going to say 50. The y, the width, and the height. So now, there's a rectangle, and I can make the rectangle move by going into the dot load, which is what happens when the game loads, and because we have to put all our variables there, so x will equal to 50, I'm going to place this x position with x, and I'm also just going to be going to add a y variable as well, so now we have the same result. So we'll have that update. I'm gonna say x plus equals fifty. Oops, I'm gonna x equals x plus fifty. But it moves too fast. So we have to include this thing called delta. We have to multiply this by delta. So now it's a multiply bit by the time between each frame. So I'm going to put that in a variable called speed. Oh yeah, I might just increase the speed to 100 to, to move faster. Now we're going to work on keyboard input as usual. So to do keyboard input, we have to write if love dot keyboard dot is down. What to say? Right. Then, so I'm gonna copy this x equals x plus speed. So now, don't get moves like that. If we press the right arrow, so let's replace this with else. If love dot keyboard dot is down left, then. The opposite is going to happen. So now we can do the same for up and down. So I'm just going to change this to Y. And for down. Wait, so now I have to write to end. Now we can move freely in any direction. Also, well, I'm probably just going to replace these else ifs with store more ifs so that you'll be able to move diagonally. So now we can move diagonally. This is going to increase the speed to like 250. So now it's much faster. 
So at least we're gonna put the object into its own table. So we're gonna say we're gonna to call the object arch one. We're gonna make it to be a table. So x v fifty. Y will be 50, the speed will be 250. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be in left out mode. Okay, so now we have our object one. Let me just use find. Let me replace access of. X. So now it's just replacing every x with algebra 1 dot x. So now I'm going to replace y with algebra 1 dot y. And let's do that here. So now we have to replace speed with arch well dot speed. Wait, right, so uh, now we replace this with arch well dot y. So now that's the same thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say function arch1. So we're just gonna put arch1 in a function. So we're gonna say return. So let's. Let me just copy this. Let's say function opt one update. So I'm going to say arch one. But yeah, I'm also going to include delta as a I think no arguments for the function. So let's say arch one update delta. Now it updates the same way. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial.